good morning so today we are going to go over how to make an lol surprise coloring page upload it onto design space to make it into layers so that we can make it a layered image instead of just a coloring outline and we can make it whatever colors we want so i went ahead and went on google and just typed in coloring uh, lol surprise coloring pages and it comes up with a list of them you could look for the images on here and click an image that you want or you can go back on here and click on a coloring page that has them so I went ahead and clicked on this page right here and it has a bunch of images that you could use I really like this little girl with the boots so I went ahead and dragged her and saved her on my desktop then I went to Cricut Design Space and you're going to upload the image you're going to hit complex and we're going to go ahead and delete all the negative areas that we don't need. We're going to use this select and erase function. That erases the background, but since we're going to make it into a layered image that we need, we need to erase all of the inner parts of her hair, of her body as well. So we're going to go ahead and start clicking on those pieces and deleting the pieces that we don't need. Erasing all of the pieces on there parts of her eye that we're not going to need, her lips right here, erase her ears, her ponytails, her bows, and if you accidentally click on something you're not supposed to, you can just click undo, and you can keep erasing the negative pieces that you don't need on there. A little belt just keep clicking away on there until you get all of the negative pieces erased all of the white pieces that you don't need And if you need to zoom in for some of the pieces, you can go ahead and zoom in. And that can help you determine which white pieces are not necessary on there. Hit undo again. And if you see any pieces that need to be that need to come off, you can take them off there. And then you're going to zoom out so you could see this. We're going to go ahead and hit preview. And we're going to make sure that we got all of the pieces that we need. And we did. We have our outline and there's no more white pieces that we don't need. You're going to hit continue. And you're going to go ahead and save it as a cut image. And you're going to put LOL surprise doll. If I could spell that right. And then you're going to put tags on it, whatever tags you need on it. You need on it. And I actually already uploaded the image, so you're actually going to save it. And then you're going to upload image, and you're going to upload it on there. This is the image that comes up, and we're going to make it look into this image right here. And you can make it whatever colors you want. So I'm going to go ahead and hide this image, and we're going to start from scratch on here. And we're going to go ahead and duplicate the image. You're going to copy it and paste it. Then you're going to go into the contours layer. And we're going to go ahead and do that. What we're going to do first is hide all contours. And we're going to, let's say we'll do her, uh, her body and arms first. To make sure those are the color that we need them to be. Unclick this image because we don't need that image to be black. We only need her body right now. So we're going to go ahead and see the images that we clicked, the pieces that we clicked on her body, and we're going to make that into a tanned color. And since her body is the back piece, we're going to go ahead and arrange it and send that to the back so we can see our pieces still. We're going to click on the image and we're going to copy it again because we're going to contour. We're going to keep doing this, copying that same image and contouring out what we need. 
hide all contours and we're going to go ahead and do her hair now. Let's do the pieces of her hair. Sometimes some of the pieces are a little bit difficult to click on. So you can go on the side panel, unclick this piece because we're not going to need it. If that piece is always going to be selected because one piece needs to be selected when you hit hide all layers. One layer needs to show up. So we're going to go ahead and look for these two pieces, these two pieces of the hair right there. We're going to unclick those so that they're selected on there. And we're still missing one piece of the hair, but I think you can go ahead and click on it on there. And we're going to want her eyebrows to be the same color as well. So her ponytail is part of her hair part. And you can close out and you see that it has the ponytails and the hair part. We're going to go ahead and make that into this fuchsia pink color. And we'll place it on there. And then we're going to hit again, hit this again. And we're going to copy it and paste it. Then we're going to do her eyes next. Hide all contours. We'll do the white parts of her eyes next. These pieces go together because they're part of the white part of her eye. Don't forget to unclick that one piece that stays on there. I'm gonna go ahead and put the whites of her eyes on there. And then we're gonna click on it again. I'm gonna paste it on here. We're gonna hit contour again. Hide all contours. Then we're gonna click on the inner parts of her eye and unclick that, close out of it. I'm gonna make that into a turquoise color because that's the, usually the color of the LOL dolls, the inner part of their eyes, usually that color. I'm gonna click on it again, copy and paste it, put it on here. The next thing we'll do is we'll do her little outfit. Hide all contours, click on all the pieces of her outfit that you need I believe I got all the pieces of her outfit. Let's go ahead and hide that. Let's see if we missed anything on there. I'm gonna go ahead and make her outfit into this jean colored outfit and go ahead and place it on there. But if you're looking at her outfit, you see that I missed this part of her neck. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, click on that part and it's gonna be down here, but I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and I'm gonna hit contour again, and I'm just going to click on the piece that I missed. So I missed this part, and you see it covers it, it makes it on there. So I can go ahead and click out of it. I also forgot her ears. Her ears should be flesh colored as well, so click on it again, and hit contour. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on her ears so that her ears are the color of flesh that we need them to be. There are her ears. Then I'm gonna go ahead and scroll back up here, click copy and paste, and then we're gonna go ahead and do her belt buckle, hide all contours, and we're gonna click on her little belt that she has. And hide this one again, and we'll make her belt red. Go ahead and place that on there. We'll work on and hit contour again. Hide all contours. And we're going to click on her hair bow. Sometimes some of the pieces are hard to select on here. So what you can do is you can either zoom in to make it easier to click on. Or you could use the layers panel on there to make sure that they're clicked on. So we're gonna go ahead and close that out. And there's our bow. And we're gonna go ahead and change our bow to red and place it over our image. And then we want to make her boots red as well. So let's go ahead and click on this. 
copy it, paste it on there, hit contour again, same process over and over just to make our layers. And we're gonna go ahead and click on our little boots. And her stars. You want to make sure to click on the inside and the outer part of the star so that way it's it, we can make it white on the inside. See that part of the star. Go ahead and unclick this because we don't need that part. And we're going to make her boots be red. And then we're going to select this again, copy it and paste it. And we're going to hide all contours. And we're just going to bake the inside of her boots because I want the inside inner part of her boots to be white. Hide her again. And click that and make it a dark red color. Go ahead and place her lips on there. And there you have it. We have this LOL surprise doll that's done and ready to be layered. You can group it together, resize it, whatever. So you can actually resize the image in whatever way you want it to be. Um, one thing that I will tell you that'll make it a lot easier when you're layering it wastes a little bit of vinyl, but it's a lot easier, is to go ahead and um, duplicate this layer and then hit contour. And you're going to go ahead and hide all contours and it's gonna leave this black silhouette. We're gonna make that black silhouette be our flesh color. And the reason we're gonna do that is because when we, um, we want this to be our bottom piece and then we're going to go ahead and place the outline on top of it. So you're going to make the flesh be the bottom piece and place the outline on top of it. And then you're going to layer all your pieces on there that need to be put on there. And I'll show you why. We're going to ungroup this and I'll show you the little bows will go exactly where they need to go. You can put the bows next, then you could put the hair next, the eyes can go on there. And then the white parts of the eyes can go on there, the lips, and then you can click her outfit can go on there, and then her belt, then her boots, and then the white parts of her boots. And that will make it a lot easier in layering than having this piece right here be your first piece you need to lay down. This would have been the first piece you need to put and then it would have been this piece layered on top of it and then the rest of them. It's a lot easier to have that flesh colored silhouette in the background and then place the outline. That makes it a lot easier when cutting. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like in our layers panel. I'm going to go ahead and click make it. Sorry, in our matte um, panel and we're going to have all the pieces on there. So this would be the first piece you're going to layer. Then you're going to layer the outline on top of it and then you go piece by piece. You can put the, the white part next, you can put the red part next, the lips, the eyes, and the jean, and then you can do the hair part. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, please go ahead and comment down below. And again, have a great weekend and take care. Thank you.